Man, an angle we good? I just don't look. Is this flat? Yeah, we're flat. All right. Hold up, let me get this for you guys. Man, we're busting up the seat. I have to teach you guys the secret. How I broke the matrix. How I stepped out that. How, you know, how people be like, I hope I have a good day tomorrow. I hope tomorrow is a better day. I hope next week's a better week. I hope next, this year's my year. Nah, that's not, you're, you're not thinking about it the right way. You, you're close, but you're so, you're, 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 you're close. You're close, but you're not there. So look, this is what you got to do. First things first, before we even get into that, you got to hit that subscribe button. Got to hit that subscribe button so you can follow up with the videos. Second off, it all starts with perspective and your word choice and what you're focusing on. Those three things. Perspective, word choice, what you're focusing on. Those, those are our big three keys on this video. So perspective, if you think, if you think you'll have a good day, you'll have a good day. Why wouldn't you have a good day? If you wake up in the morning, you're like, I'm going to have a good day. What's stopping you from having a bad day? You already started off the day good because you already knew it was a good day because you woke up. It was it's a blessing to be. I think I think sometimes we forget that like tomorrow isn't promised. You know, last a couple of days ago my phone broke and I kept telling myself, oh, I'm gonna do video next day, I'm gonna do the video next day. And then my phone broke and I was like, damn, this is crazy. Like, you know, I kept telling myself I'd do a video the next day, but then my phone broke and thank God I could get another phone because if I couldn't no more, maybe no more videos. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like, if you, if you, if you state that you're going to have a good day, you're going to have a good day. If you think you're going to have a good day, you're going to have a good day. If you, if you manifest a good day, uh, I know that's a real popular term and in, in, in word choice right now. If you, if you choose to have a good day, you're going to have a good day. If you wake up in the morning before you even hit the, before you even get step out of bed, before you even move, because I've been, I've been doing this a lot lately. Where I just sit in bed and I and I'll say like ten things I'm grateful for, that that's that that trains your mind to already be like, cause you know if you're if you're always focused on what you don't have, of course you're gonna be upset and you're gonna be miserable because wanting is a is a low vibrating thing, or or feeling like you need something because everything you want and need is already within you. Um, so perspective, we already got that. Oh wait, no perspective word choice i don't know anyways next thing's next we're gonna go into perspective or like what you choose like yeah so perspective is like what you choose to focus on so like all right say you wake up you're late for work you're like oh it's a bad day i'm late for work oh it's a bad day why is it a bad day you're late for work maybe that saved your life maybe if you were on time for work today you'd have been in a in a crucial car accident would have killed you I had this ta this conversation with my tattoo artist one day. He was like, "You know, I, I was I was I was rushing from I was rushing from the house one day, and I I was just I was frustrated, and I can and like every it was like as every time I would leave the the house, I knew I forgot something. Like he and then he was like finally like he was like I finally got to the car, I finally heat the car up, I finally get on the road, and then I was like fuck, I forgot my other phone. So he goes back, gets his other phone, gets off the mountain, and he says he sees a car wreck." And he said, he said, when he saw that car wreck, he thanked God because he believed that God made him forget his phone so that he would go back and get his phone so that he wasn't the one in that car accident, if that makes sense. So instead of him being like, oh, I'm having a bad day because I was late for work, he turned it into, oh, I'm having a good day because I was late for work and there was a car accident where I'm usually headed and that could have been me. So it's all about perspective. If you want to have, like, it's all about what you focus on because, you know, in your lifetime, it's hard to say if you have more good or bad. Who knows? You might have more bad. You might have more good. I don't know. I don't know. It's up to you. But at the end of the day, it's truly about what you focus on and what you hold on to the most. Because if you only hold on to the good, you're going to be ignorant to what the bad or your flaws or what's causing you to be at that same level 
But if you only focus on the bad, you're not realizing how blessed and, and beautiful life is. So it's all about a balance of seeing both things and kind of understanding like what how blessed you are, but also where you need to work or where you need to focus yourself to be better. And then also the final thing to have in the, the final cheat code to having great days, having great years, great months is word choice. The way you speak about yourself and the things around you. I try my hardest to be so conscious of what I say about myself. I don't call myself negative terms. I don't speak ill of myself. Even, even when I get in my like the negative head spaces, I try my hardest not to. Um, but I just there's a difference between putting yourself down and being real with yourself. You know, um, To me, it's like this, for example. Am I lazy? I don't think so. Do I not like doing certain things? And when I have to do things I don't like to do, I drag my feet? Yeah, I do that. Yeah, I do that 100%. But when I'm motivated and I love something, I could work on it all day. I could not, I could go a whole day. I could go days without eating when I'm, when I'm consumed, when I'm in a zone, when I love something. So do I think I'm lazy? No. Do I think when I'm when I have to do something I don't like to do, I drag my feet a little bit. That's something I need to work on. But I don't think I'm lazy. That is how you have a good day. That is how you have a good life. It's about what you say to yourself. It's about what you focus on. And it's also about. Dang, not what you say to yourself, what you focus on and. Fuck, I forgot the other th 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 key. Ah, oh, man. For I'm a little forgetful sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Things slip me. I wouldn't even say forgetful. Things slip me sometimes. So I've, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm, if you like this one, thumbs it up. Comment your favorite part or your favorite key. And I'll be back with another one shortly. Peace, love, all heart. Appreciate you guys.